water scarcity. First of all, what is water scarcity? Water scarcity occurs when the demand for water from all sectors, agriculture, cities environment, is higher than the available resource. Because water has been relatively abundant throughout our existence on Earth, we have come to take it for granted. However we now find our water supplies severely reduced as water scarcity is fast becoming one of the most serious resource issues we face today. The amount of water on our planet is fixed. 97.5% of salt water and just 2.5% of fresh water. Currently, one-third of the world population lives in countries where there isn't enough water or its quality has been compromised. But by 2025 it is expected to rise to two-thirds. There are two types of water scarcity. One is known as physical water scarcity. This occurs when there is not enough water to meet our needs. Arid regions are generally associated with physical water scarcity. The other type of water scarcity is known as economic water scarcity. This occurs when human, institutional and financial capital limit access to water even though water in nature is available for human needs. You may think water issues are somebody else's problem. But in a few years it will be yours too. Follow a few easy steps to do your part in maintaining this precious resource. Don't throw your cooking oil down the drain. Close the tap when brushing your teeth. This advice is useless because most of people doesn't brush their teeth. Don't buy unnecessary goods as everything produced uses water. Water is a small word. But in fact, the whole world can't survive without the water. Imagine that there's no more water in the planet. We will die of drought. Many countries has problems with water especially, countries of Africa and Middle East. Many people doesn't care about the water scarcity, they waste the water without caring about the next generation. We must stop this wasting or else we will end. Today people are struggling to win petrol, but tomorrow they will be fighting to get water. But in the end, it's all up to us. And I finish by saying, our future is between our hands, and remember a cup of water is better than thousands of treasures.